The following program is sponsored by El Camino Hospital in partnership with Blue Orchid Press. What are two secrets that millions of American women are simply too embarrassed to talk about, even with their healthcare providers? Incontinence and pelvic pain. You don't have to suffer in silence any longer. There are safe and effective, state-of-the-art treatments that range from traditional medicine to non-surgical alternatives. Hi, I'm Nurse Barb with your Daily Dose. Did you know that nearly one in four women suffer some form of pelvic issue, whether it's bleeding, pain, or urinary problems? And that number doubles as women age. Here at the Pelvic Health Center at El Camino Hospital, embarrassment is replaced by empowerment as women conquer these deeply personal issues and get back to their lives. I had issues with doing things with my kids like jumping the rope, um, jumping on the trampoline, going for runs, um, exercising without having some issues. And so I just decided that it was really uncomfortable and embarrassing to kind of go through that um, and have to live my life like that for the rest, you know, the rest of my life. Understandably, many women are reluctant to share concerns about their pelvic health. These issues can have profound medical and emotional consequences. Many women wrongly assume that surgery is their only option, but there's a wide range of effective solutions. Well, the first thing I tell them is that incontinence isn't a, a diagnosis, it's a symptom. So we have women who can't get to the toilet in time. They have urgency. I have women who leak when they cough or sneeze or exercise. So younger women try to do very vigorous exercise and a little leakage might be tolerable to some, totally awful to others. So we work with that and try and figure out whether we can make them not leak a drop ever or in a way that still allows them to do what things they want to do. I hear from women all the time who limit their lives because they're scared of leaking. And when I suggest specialized physical therapy to help strengthen pelvic floor muscles, most are shocked. They had no idea that we've moved so far beyond Kegel exercises. And yet, there are safe, gentle, effective, and non-invasive treatments that can help eliminate even the most bothersome symptoms. What are women surprised about when they come to your class? Women are surprised about how much they can know about their pelvic floor, how much lack of knowledge they have about their own pelvic floor muscles. You told me that some women are really surprised by their second visit. What are they surprised about? Yes, like a lot of women come to me on their second visit and they tell me I can actually sleep throughout the night without going to pee. And that is really amazing. Pelvic pain affects millions of women and can interfere with virtually every aspect of life, from the ability to exercise and have sex to concerns about fertility. Women who suffer from pelvic pain find it interferes with every aspect of their life. Well, one of the greatest tools in our toolbox right now is we're able to use the Da Vinci robot to do surgeries that before would have required a long and difficult recovery period that can now be done with minimally invasive surgery with excellent success rates. Nearly one half of all women will suffer some form of pelvic issue during their life. Whether it's pain, bleeding, or incontinence, the good news is that there's a lot that can be done. You don't have to just accept it and suffer in silence anymore. If you or someone you love is experiencing pelvic pain or urinary problems, don't wait. El Camino Hospital has a unique pelvic health program of excellence that is not available anywhere else in the Bay Area. Call now to talk to one of the care navigators to learn more about El Camino Hospital's pelvic health program and to sign up for a free pelvic floor exercise class. And when you call, tell them that Nurse Barb sent you. You need to go to a urologist. Um, you need to find someone that you're comfortable with. And you need to kind of ask them what your options are. And remember, always get the information you need to make the best decisions for your health. I'm Nurse Barb, and this is your Daily Dose.